Hello everyone, it is I, Pyro Arden here, doing another figure review slash unboxing video, this time on another of the Dragon Ball Flash series of figures, this time, it is Broly! Yeah, that's right. Ever since uh, getting the uh, getting those other three figures back when I had my trip at Mexico, I was like, you know what? I need a little bit more figures. Plus, also, I did recently watch, and what I mean recently, I mean like two or three days ago, ended up watching the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie and really liking it. So, my mind was on like, you know what? I need a Broly figure. Let's see if I can try to find one that was relatively cheap. <laughs> and I did. And like with the other figures were were they were like around what ten ish bucks, this one as well. Not bad figure. When I bought this I was like thinking it's like this is not gonna look good and whatnot and I was like, eh, no no, it looks decently well. At least decently better than what's it called other what's it called figures that I was trying to buy, which were miniature and not really detailed. This right here at least looks good. Especially out of the box and whatnot. At least it looks decent and whatnot. When I was looking at the pictures of this, I was thinking, it's like, ah, oh, no. It's like, do I want this? Do I really want this? But overall, I'm kind of glad I got it. Broly looks like a decently fine figure. And on the back side, we have more. Besides Broly, we also have Ultimate Gohan, Force Form Frieza, and both Vegeta and Goku in their base Super Saiyan form. Which I am going to try to get the rest of these figures later down the line. We'll see how that goes. Uh... But with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing of this little tiny figure. Okay, folks, now it's time to do the unboxing of the Broly figure. Now I'm trying to see right here where I'm going to try to unbox this because I have no clue where this opens. And you can see right here it's a little bit damaged. So technically speaking, it probably opens from the back side and pop it all out easily. Or I can do this the old-fashioned way with the old X-Acto knife, buddy. Pop that off. Uh, don't do that at home, folks. Only trained professionals should be able to do that, especially somebody, uh, I can do that because what's called, I've been doing model kits for a long time, and I'm gonna need to replace the head for the exacto knife, but that's fine, I'll do that later. First things first, let's go with the whole knifing thing, hopefully I don't damage the figure, and hopefully I don't damage my fing fingers. What's it called? Yeah, yeah, no, this, the blade's a little bit dull. It's been, ooh! Oh, we got this. This is the most dangerous part of... Tangus speaking, I really could just open the back side and just be done with this. Like, I'm only worried about the front side. But, if I can cut all the plastic off, I think that would do me very well. But I do realize that I'm going to need to replace the X-Acto Knife's head afterwards. Which is a good thing, because I am probably going to be working on some model kits later down the line. And that will be some reviews later, because I will be doing... Uh, Probably after the Broly figure review, I'm probably going to be doing another Gunpla review. And I'll be my Gundam Estrella, my RG Gundam Estrella review. So, we will be seeing that. I thought that was And I have already for a second D. That's a screw it. Damn it. This might take a little bit longer than I thought it would be. But, you know what? We're here to struggle. Now... Probably anybody's probably watching this, probably gonna tell me, you know, you could do it the easier way and just like not do it this way, which is true. But I'm a man that's gonna struggle for a bit. Come on. And hopefully I don't hurt myself. That's the last thing I need. Another cut finger. I already have too many of those from previous interactions. Ooh. And the first things first that comes out is the display chip. Or it's display stand. It's also technically a coin with the figure of whatever character you have. I can see right there, there's Broly. Not bad. I like these. And then there's Broly himself. Ooh. Very bulky. Very bulky indeed. His hands movable. Oh, you actually can see the detail. You can see right there. I don't know if you can see right there or whatnot, but you can see right there. He has a scar. That usually has during the battle right there, like right there. For a moment when I was actually when I was looking at this through the box, I did not notice the scar right there. I thought they just like made this without the scar just left it there. But no, they actually had the detail there. That's actually pretty nice. What's it called? The sculpt is actually not bad at all. Is there looking good? His eyes being as blank because that's usually Dragon Ball. That's how usually Dragon Ball is with these figures and whatnot. Overall, I'm actually pretty liking this. 
I saw it just because of how bulky uh, Brody usually is. That these oversized muscles and whatnot were going to make the figure kind of like look dumb and whatnot. But I was wrong. It actually looks pretty nice. And comparably to other Dragon Ball figures that are cheap around the time, this actually feels pretty nice. And though, for those who are wondering, the only movement this thing has are its arms that can twist around and that's pretty much it. Which is fine. Usually these figures are meant, meant for what's called display. Or for, or for kids to be able to play with, no problem at all. What's called the head has no movement, but the hairs can slightly move. You can bend them around. These are like some soft plastic right here. Overall, the coloring of the hair is pretty nice. He is technically in his legend, legendary Super Saiyan form. I have no clue if that's still the thing for Broly or whatnot. I know he is technically, or his original one was technically legendary. There's a whole debate. I'm not going to get into that. But either way... Uh, my Super Saiyan Broly figure looks pretty nice. I actually do like this. Comparably to the rest of the figures, the uh, sculpt looks great. The coloring looks good. I was expecting this to be kind of kind of terrible. But I'm actually surprised. It's actually just done pretty well. Like the sculpting on the feet, on its legs, the what's it called? The coloring, the detail work is actually pretty nice. I wonder if we can see the scar right there. Let me see if I can tone down the light. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I need to tone down the light to see if you guys can try to see the Broly scar. Yeah, there we go. I, if you can see that there, I appreciate it. But what's it called? Broly looking pretty nice. Let's turn back the lights. Sorry about that. It's probably the only reason why my lighting for my room is kind of dark right now because of some uh, lighting issues and electricity because having the uh, electricity is being worked on right now. So power is being fluctuating. So I have to use external lights for the meantime. But overall, Broly figure looks nice. Let's go back to this coin thing because we—I don't know—we saw that a little bit more perfectly. L looking good, like you can see right there, Broly being oh in his war form, looking good. Now let's put Broly on display. And like always with these figures, you have the little peg here that goes on the feet. Attach that on there, somewhere. Come on, just attach. There we go. And now, like the rest of my Dragon Ball figures. Broly is attached. And overall, I like the figure. I give this... Uh, no, I'm going to give this a scale out of, like, what, 1 to 10. I'm actually going to give it, like, a pretty good 7. It's actually a pretty nice figure. It's not, basically, it's not the all-around, uh, what's it called, figures as most people want, like the S uh, SH figures, uh, figures or other regular figures of Dragon Ball figures. But overall, it's a pretty good figure. Oh, if you see one of these, I recommend getting them. They're not that bad. If you want them just for display and whatnot, I'm not going to do anything with them. Mm, I'll probably buy them. You could probably make an army of Dragon Ball figures with just a bunch of these. But, with that out of the way, that is the Dragon Ball Flash figure series, Broly figure. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I always appreciate it. Uh, but, with that out of the way, have a good day, folks. This is I, Power Arden, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.